Oh hi, it's Rob, and uh, today it is sync day. I'm going to try and install the sync. Um, shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I did take it out. I know how it came out. I know how to put it back together. It's just going to be some time. Figured, uh, you know, since it's a thing that I'm doing, I'd bring you along. Well, the first thing I was going to do was going to be reinstalling these clamps so that they would fit on there while I flip the sink over so that I could reattach it. But then I realized that I haven't cleaned under the bottom of the sink yet, and it's pretty gross. So that's the next step. Incidentally, this is the inside of the, uh, the uh, vortex cleaner, or pre-cleaner, before, uh, before I put it into the shop vac. And you can see how the walls here have collapsed. Um, well, when you put a lot of suction on these buckets, they don't really hold up all that well. Uh, so I'm probably going to need to find a way to make an insert into this bucket to uh, give it some strength. So uh, I have help again. This is right, uh, right behind me. So anytime I get down at floor level, it's it's dark. Anytime I get down at floor level is dog time. And now comes the part where I'm going to put in these fasteners and the way that they work, um, they go in with this little pointy V-tab down in the slot. <clears throat> and slide until they go into place and when it, the sink goes in, you want it to go in, uh, you want these to be aligned this way. Uh, otherwise, if you put them like that, that, the sink won't go in because this is the part that holds it up against the counter. I hate these things. I, I absolutely hate them. One handy staging trick is to tape up the ends of these and to put tape on these to hold them in place temporarily. That way when you flip the sink over, they don't go anywhere, and when you're putting it in, these don't flop around and get caught on the edge. Right, the next thing that I want to do is I want to lay a bead of silicone caulk all around the edge of the sink. That way, if any water gets on the surface, it won't get underneath the lip of the sink. Next thing I want to do is drop the sink in place. Wouldn't it be nice if that was just easy? Huh. I don't know what a pain in the butt this is. Well, as you can see, the sink does not fit with these little clips on it. 
So these I'm going to have to install after the sink is in. That's going to suck. I make the hole smaller. I bet I did. Son of a bitch. All right. <clears throat> what are you stuck on? It looks like what happened is when I put this concrete on, I gave it a lip going over this edge a little bit, and that is enough to make it so the sink doesn't fit. So now I have to uh, trim down that edge. Alright, I am going to try and install some of these sink clips. Wish me luck. I remember this from before and I hated it then. Sure, I hate it now. Uh, give me light. That was a right pain in the butt. However, the sink is in and it is screwed down, so it's not going anywhere. Now I just have to hook up the stuff underneath. Uh, first, I'm going to reconnect the two water supply lines, the hot and the cold, because those are going to be the easiest, and then work from the back toward the front.
Next thing I want to do is the drain. keep this about hand tight. I still need to attach uh, this one for the garbage disposal, which is next. At least about even between hot and cold. But everything is working, there are no leaks. Now I suppose I should check and make sure that the disposal works. <clears throat> it sounds like a disposal working. All right, uh, I think what I might do is I'm going to clean this with some CLR. So I think this might be a little bit clogged up with lime. And then that's gonna soak for a while. I'll put it back on, see if that, if that improves the flow at all. Well, that's gonna do it for this time. Uh, the sink is installed and working. There are no leaks. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't seem to have a lot of flow, so I've got the, the head soaking in some CLR to get rid of the lime. And it, as soon as I put it in there, it started foaming, so I know that it's somewhat clogged. So hopefully that will make things a little bit better. Other than that, uh, that's going to be it for now. And I've got more projects to do. I mean, I've got the, the vent hood and the backsplash that are uh, ready to go in, so I'll try and get to those soon. Uh, this vent is going to be interesting because that is the vent slot. It's not a uh, round one. Luckily, they are. It seems to be um, standard or standardized. So there's a few different styles that are, have uh, vents, and uh, so that seems like it's probably going to go okay. I'll find out. Anyway, uh, until next time. See you guys. Oh, hi, it's Rob, and uh, it's Barky Dog Day.